Hey guys, Rollout here with another casual unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at something from Zoids Wild, which is the newest Zoids series. I've watched the first few episodes and I think it's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. Uh, I think the character designs are extremely silly and the world is a little bit strange compared to some of the previous Zoids series, but uh, aside from that, I like a lot of the ideas it brings to the table. Um, I really like that the Zoids themselves have more personality to them. I also like that there's more of an emphasized bond between the rider or pilot and their Zoid. Uh, and I think the Wild Blast is a great gimmick that adds a lot of hype to the action scenes. I think that's super cool. Uh, but, unfortunately, uh, subtitles aren't coming out very quickly, so... Uh, we might have to wait for an official dub to catch up in English. But until then, uh, let's take a look at this. Now, uh, I wanted a wild liger to go along with the rest of my ligers on the shelf. Um, unfortunately, I collect the Zoids aggressive line, which is 1 to 100 scale instead of the standard Zoids 1 to 72. So the deluxe motorized wild liger would just be way too big. Uh, this is a smaller version of Wild Liger. This is the candy toy release. Um, I believe you can also get these as Gashapon capsule toys, but uh, it doesn't come with the piece of candy that I think is in here, as well as this little like display base that goes along with it. So that should be pretty cool. Um, anyway, without further ado, Let's open this up. I don't see a whole lot of videos of these guys out there. Um, they are quite small, um, and I think they'll go along nicely with the rest of my 1 to 100 Zoids. You see wild Zoids in this show. Yeah, here's a little piece of gum. Uh, wild Zoids are a lot smaller than your standard Zoids because the characters ride on top of them uh, rather than inside of them. Now this might be a little bit too small, but I definitely want to do some comparisons with those 1 to 100 Zoids because, again, that's something I just haven't seen uh, anywhere and I'd like to provide that. I think that might be interesting. So we have some dirt and uh, we have the Zoid. Looks like it has pegs on the bottom of its feet so that it can fit on top of this. I don't think the Gashapon versions do. So um, if you don't want to display it on this, you might want to get the Gashapon version. But anyway, let's open it up and see. This tape is fighting me. There we go. Come on. <laughs> okay, so we have the base and we have the Zoid. So he is quite small. Uh, of course, the details are eh, a little bit shabby because of how small a scale it is. Uh, these are a soft rubber, the little claws on top, so. We might have to hit those with a blow dryer uh, to get them straightened out. Uh, again, like I said, uh, this version has little pegs on the bottom, so that's worth noting. Um, if you don't want that, uh, you might want to get the Gashapon version, or I guess you could just cut those off if you'd like. So he is a very small guy. The uh, the legs, well, the legs can just come right off. They're, they're pegged on, uh, but those can go forward and back. Does the head have any movement at all? Does not seem like it, but uh, there's his face. Can this come off and reposition in the normal mode? Doesn't look like it. So he's permanently in this wild blast mode here, unfortunately. But let's, uh, let's peg him to the stand. And there he is, roaring. Looks pretty nice. It might serve uh, my purpose just fine. Looking nice on the shelf alongside the other Zoids here. Let's, uh, let's open up this candy. Might as well taste it. Yep. Tastes exactly like this stuff usually does. Like a slightly fruity, bubblegummy, 
kind of chewing gum. Sometimes they have little chalky pellets that taste exactly the same. But, uh, yep, this one, this one has some gum. Anyway, let's do some size comparisons. As you can see, I have corrected all of these soft rubber bits. It's pretty easy, just uh, warm it up and then run it under some cold water while you straighten it out to solidify, and uh, you should be good to go. Anyway, the Wild Liger is meant to be about 8.4 meters long, which seems pretty big until you scale it down 1 to 100, and then you get something that's about 3 inches and some change. Now this isn't quite 1 to 100 scale, uh, not including the claws, you have almost exactly 2.5 inches, uh, which is fine. Honestly, I'd prefer him to be a little bit smaller than a little bit bigger, because he is supposed to be a tiny Zoid. It's not completely accurate to the Zoid's aggressive line, but it's acceptable. Without further ado, here he is, alongside more a Same Liger. I suppose I'll go in release order here. And uh, yeah, he is quite a bit bigger. This is uh, the newest Zoid series, and this is the one that came right before it. Next, here he is next to Blade Liger from the first Zoid series. White and blue is the flavor of the day here. Again, much larger, but I think they look all right. Finally, here he is next to my favorite, Liger Zero. And uh, the cockpit opens easiest on this guy, so we'll take a look inside, and you can see that uh, even though it's a very big machine, uh, the human that sits inside is supposed to be very, very tiny. So they sit inside there on this guy, um, and then on this one, they just uh, sit on top of the head. They sort of ride the beast. So, like I've been saying, not completely accurate, but it's good enough. So, until next time, this has been Rollout, signing off.